my son, you have been born as a man, have you not? What is it that you have come here to discover? What is your duty? Why have you come here? Where will you go from here? What was that which sent you to this world? Where were you before you came here? That which sent you here, what is it like? Where does it live? What is it doing now? Has it perished? Or does it live on imperishable? Which is real, the perishable or the imperishable? To investigate, discover, and understand all this is the true duty of your certitude. Know this well. What is our miracle? That's what my we have to know. You, my, my love you, my children. Who is our father? Who were we? Where were we before? Where are we now? What must we do? What is our duty? Who is our father? Who are we? Where will we go from now on? What is our work now? We have to learn in this university. My son, this paltry life lasts for only a few days. Do not think of it as real. There is an eternal life within you and a resplendent body of light for that life which is the body you brought with you when you came. The body you see now, however, is just a schoolhouse, and you've come to study in it. It is a rented room. God, who created you, has sent you here to use your inner wisdom to study his artistic creations, and through this to know yourself, to know him, and to understand all of everything. Having studied and passed your examinations, you must return to the beautiful body of light in which you came to the world. The moment you change, your lessons and your research in this school will end, and you will receive your position in the kingdom of God, the permanent position for your eternal life. Precious children, we must think about our lives. About God, about our lives, about other lives. This is what we must think about. What is prayer? What is worship? What is meditation? We must think about that also. We have to think what will bring degradation and what will bring exaltedness to our lives. What is the cause of that? Where is God? That's a question commonly asked in the world. What is God like? That could be a doubt in the mind. Who contains God? That's what we have to think of. What is God? We have to inquire into that. Whom does God belong to? What religion does he belong to? What race does he belong to? What color does he belong to? Does he belong to black people, white people, yellow people, brown people? A student asked, Who is God? Ba Muhaydin replied, Do you have faith in God? The student said, Yes. Ba Muhaydin continued, I too have faith in God. We cannot see him as an external form. God exists within us at a particular point. He has no attachments or blood ties. He has neither wife nor children, house nor property. He has no race, religion, or separations of any kind. He has no doctrine. His religion is truth. God has no color. He's not black or white or yellow. We cannot say that he was born or even that he appeared on a certain day. We cannot say that he is living happily or that he has a self-image. We cannot even say, God was revealed to us in a spiritual form. We saw him like this. We saw him like that. We saw a miracle. God has no form. He casts no shadow. 
God is a power. A power which transcends all beginnings and ends. He's a power beyond all race, religion, and scripture. He is a power beyond, completely beyond all scriptures. He's a light greater than the light of all the suns, moons, and stars. He is a perfect power, completeness. That's God. God dwells in all truth. lives. Truth. God is truth. Purity. Equality. Peacefulness. Tranquility. Serenity. Wisdom. Undivided contentment. Dwelling in all lives. Giving peace to all lives. Showing tranquility to all lives. God is the one who never forgets us, even if our, our, our mothers and fathers forget, forget us. We have to think of this. To see, there's no way to see him with our eyes because he has no shape, no form, no wife, no child, no religion, no race, no possession. No house, no property, no blood ties. He has no deed. He has nothing belongs to him. He doesn't have a deed for any house. It's a power which doesn't have any of these things. A power which is omnipresent. Where would we ever search for him? Where would we ever see him? Where would we ever know him? It's in the house of each person's heart that God has placed a most subtle house, the house of truth, which contains his kingdom, his paradise, his justice, his compassion, his patience, peacefulness. God has formed that house in each one of us. We must open that house. And if we open it, we must serve our Father. We must learn with our Father. We have to understand from our Father. We have to speak with our Father and understand his state. Why is man here? Why are we on earth the way we are if we were meant to be with God? And Baal answered, that is a very good question, a very good question. You want to know why we came here. If you were there, would you know about God? There it is a great mystery, but here in this world his story is revealed. Here you can see his power, his qualities, his actions, his artistry, his medical work, his scientific work, and his work of divine wisdom. Here, he manifested the sun, the moon, and the stars. Here, he created mountains, oceans, valleys, flowers, fruit, and birds. All things that move and display their beauty and fragrance are his work. We see his story in the falling leaves and in the blossoming flowers, the creeping ant, the birds that fly, the heavenly bodies, and all things that move proclaim his presence, his power, and the artistry of his creation. They point out how a living man is going to die and how a dying man will live on. The world of the mechanic can be seen in every little thing. This world is a school and we came here to learn his story by studying his actions, his justice, and his ways. We have to study each thing we see and as we learn from these examples we will exclaim, my God, our faith will become strong and from that faith will come the firm conviction that he is there, existing as a great power. In everything we see, in every bit of his artistry, even in the grass and the weeds, we can begin to understand his power. Each thing tells a part of the story of God. He sent us here saying, go and understand all of my creations. If you understand the stories they contain, you will understand me, and you will accept me. God is one, there is only one God. God is one, there is only one God. 
God created one race, the human race. Everyone in the world says, my religion, your religion, my race, your race, God belongs to me, everyone else goes to hell. Everyone, another person might say, everybody else is shaitan, only our group is the children of God. Everyone else will go to hell. Another group might say, we're the only pure ones. Everyone else is impure. Another person might say, I'm the only one who's going to heaven, I'm, I, have, I know the truth, everyone else is evil, they don't know. This is the work that goes on in the world, in every religion, this is the fighting, this is the war, this is the enmity, these are the differences. This is what separates us and from God. This ego of the I in the heart, pride, jealousy, vengeance, revenge, pride, anger, the one who has these evil qualities, he is the one who behaves in this way. Religions do not uh, tell them to do this. It is the qualities of each man, their arrogance, karma, and delusion, these qualities that make them do this, their own pride and jealousy, and their doubting others, and their desire to control another and rule, trying to take the uh, house, property, wife, children of another for himself. And that person wants to be the leader. The religions do not uh, say this. It is the people with evil qualities in those religions. They use that name of the religion to take the property and the wealth of another and to gain control. They just use the name of the religion as a shield, as an advertisement. And then, according to what he needs, to his arrogance, he collects all these wealth. The he doesn't have any love, compassion, unity, charity, considering other lives as one's own, devotion to God, God's qualities. He has lost all these. So these groups, they establish a religion and then a language and they fight their own cause in the name of these religions. They destroy the freedom, the love and the faith of all the other people and make them slaves. They control. And even though these religions come, then they are in that same religion, one will kill another. Then they start fighting in that same group. Now, religion is, is to play the heart, where heart and God's qualities join together and find peace in the heart. The hearts of the human beings and their hearts, the heart of a man and the hearts of all the other human beings joined together. That is the religion of God, where they see all as one. They gather together in one gathering, one family, one gathering. They have one farm and all the farmers. Now they are the ones who harvest in God's farm and take their food. We all join together and take from God's farm and eat. We are all doing God's farming God's land. We Foster his unity, his actions, his love. We grow his nurture, his love, his justice, and his ways of integrity. 
His Rat- we follow his Mu- compassion, Mu- his mercy, his three thousand gracious Idu qualities. Na chindane gele vada kumuru tanvetan. Good thoughts. That which is called God's religion is that which uh, nurtures and grows Yavu all iram, these qualities. Yavu iram tanvirak samatvam sandhi samadhan. Considering all lives as one soul with equality and Adhan, peacefulness. Adhan akamattil. ஆகமம் தட் இஸ் த ரியல் ரிலிஜன் தன்னுடைய கமத்தில் விலகப்படுகின்ற காட்ஸ் ரிலிஜன் will not destroy anything அணைக்க கூடியதாக இட் எம்பிரேसेस एवरी ரிலிஜன் அது அணைக்கிறது ஆகமங்கள்ல ஒன்றை ஒன்று அணைச்சி நோ இன் காட்ஸ் ரிலிஜன் ஒன் எம்பிரேसेस अनदर அண்ட் गिव्स பீஸ் கீழே விழுந்ததை தூக்குவரும் தே லிஃப்ட் தி ஒன்ஸ் ஹூ ஹேவ் ஃபாலன் டவுன் அடிபட்டதுக்கு ஆர்கல் கொடுப்பதும் தே கம் ஃபார் தோஸ் ஹூ ஹேவ் பீன் பீட்டன் பசிக்கு அன்னம் கொடுப்பதும் அண்ட் ஃபீடிங் தோஸ் ஹூ ஆர் ஹங்கரி சமாதானத்தை சாந்தியாக காட்டி தே ஷோ ஈக்வாலிட்டி அண்ட் பீஸ்ஃபுல்னஸ் பெருங்களே தன் முகத்தினால அம்பினாலும் அந்த துக்கங்களை போக்கடிக்கிறதும் அண்ட் கம்ஃபர்ட் இருந்த முகம் இருந்த முகம் வித் யுவர் ஓன் bright faces sandhi samadhan valkayin tuyarathaikkum tuyarathukkum dukkathukkum naduve in the midst of these sorrows and difficulties and uh, this joy valkai naduve inda nalai munnal is given to them malanbe anda poovile inbam engira then urugirathu the flower the heart blooms and the joy of the honey is there and this honey is given to those who suffer and given peace seyyum aagamame the religion Manidan, which does all this in the nalaiyudaiya aagaman than sariyana that is the right religion andavanam kunamaga maari when man's quality changes into god's quality when man and god together do one action andavanidayam andavanidayam manidan andavan the heart of god is man man's heart is god's heart man's quality is god's quality and god's quality is man's quality one who shows compassion and love adhan andavan aham ure aham ure one who is in this state this religion that is god's religion one race one family there is no other family there is only one family anakkandu oru sandayum illa he has no fight for his own selfish reasons he has no pride of his own he doesn't have own anything for himself anavam karma he does not have arrogance or karma of his own sariyana aagam that is the right religion My son, rather than plowing a large area of earth to a depth of one inch, scattering seeds everywhere, it will benefit you more to plow just one acre to a depth of four inches. From that one acre, you will receive a harvest equal to 50 acres. Like this, my son, do not try to study everything in the world, jnanam here, religion there, yoga here, meditation there, and the 400 trillion, 10,000 forms of spiritual magic everywhere. It would be like sowing extensive farmland without sufficient plowing. That would be of little benefit. Within your heart, in a space no bigger than an atom, God has placed the 18,000 universes, good and evil, and the wisdom to differentiate between them. That is your farmland. If you plow that land deep with your wisdom and sow God's qualities and actions with the knowledge of the difference between good and evil, you will receive the wealth of your soul, the bountiful harvest of undiminishing grace. Reflect on this and act accordingly. My sisters and my brothers, we have to realize where can we search for the one who's everywhere? He is within us. If we have a soul, then he has a house within us. Where has he made that house? In everyone. That house is ev- in everyone. That power. Racial and religious prejudice cause murders and battlefields. This is not the purity of God. God doesn't kill any life. He doesn't separate anyone away from himself. God is purity. 
There must be an open space between God and ourselves. We have to go on the direct path. We can't go on those crooked for the one who created the skies. The one who created the sun. The one who created the earth. The one who created the life. Mm. The one who made the human body. The one who has created everything. The one who resides in every life. Oh my God, come here all the time. And protect those men who are your beautiful creation. Oh God, protect all, protect those beautiful human beings. Oh God, please come here, my Father. Protect all the lives. Oh, human beings, please come here. Come and join together. Worship only that one. All lies. Become united together. And let us live together in unity. Oh, please come here. And come and join with us. And become united as one. As one life. So that we may remain like that forever. For this for various periods moon even the sun and the moon and remember that those things and God Time will change. Sun and the sun and the moon will change. Sun and moon will change on that final day. <coughs> Try to realize this and join together. Like how day and night changes. So we also will change. Like that one day we too will change. In human life is also just one season. It is a season of life which will change with time. Like how the sun and the moon shine. Let us also try to become that state so that we may become like the sun and so many lives 
Kaatumoli oru nilaiyaga vedanu. He could show them the light. Adu pole nammal mar kei. In the same way, he was make our life. Yellowku undu badam. And make the lives of everyone united. Kadamai se ye. To help them. to do Na our duty by them so that we may live in that state so that we may do the service of god all of you please come color indipedamindinamu without any color differences peda pedangal kadam diduvo let us transcend all differences and separations and may we merge with our father and live with him oh, oh please come oh, come today